Today, I'll be showing you how to file your crypto taxes with H&R Block in Canada. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, we're specifically talking about H&R Block in Canada and how to file your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So the Canada Ad Revenue Agency needs you to file your crypto taxes as a part of your annual income tax return. So today we'll be using H&R Block to file our crypto capital gains and losses any crypto income and then related expenses. So in terms of plans, you don't actually need any specific plan to file um, crypto taxes with H&R Block, unlike some other third party software. So you can select any plan to use here. And just to add here that our tax team has done a lot of the groundwork to figure out the best way to report your crypto taxes using H&R Block. But obviously everyone out there has their own financial situation. So when in doubt, definitely reach out to an accountant if things aren't sitting right with you. So first things first, you're gonna sign into your Coinly account and you're going to go into the wallets area and here you're going to add all your crypto transactions throughout the year so all your exchanges your binance your coinbase your kraken all that stuff is going to be imported into coinly and then coinly will do a bunch of calculations that you don't have to really worry about and it'll tell you exactly how much you owe in taxes obviously if you want to you know further review your transactions you can look at each individual transaction to make sure everything is going uh, accordingly and it's where it's supposed to be but then when you're done looking at that you can head over into the tax reports area and here is a fantastic um, section where you can get a summary of all your activity throughout the year so your capital gains your income your costs and expenses and anything else you want to look at so that's pretty simple right everything is worked out for you and when you're you know done reviewing this area you're going to need to get a tax report and this is really easy to do you scroll to the bottom you will select a you know tax a plan that's appropriate for your needs so for this video for today for canada we're looking at the complete tax report you're going to select a plan that's appropriate for you and then you're going to download this report so once you've downloaded that report it'll look something like this um, just to break down some things that you're going to want to look out for here so these are literally numbers you're going to copy and paste into h r block so your proceeds from sale um, your acquisition costs this will show you exactly what your capital gains and losses are you also have areas here that will show you your income summary from you know forks mining staking stuff like that you also have a expenses area and a bunch of different things that are nicely laid out for you here in this coinly tax report and you'll be very glad to know that the coinly report will be compliant with the tax rules of the canada revenue agency and very importantly that your capital gains will be calculated using the adjusted cost basis uh, method with the superficial loss rule so if you're not seeing these settings like i am here in my account you can easily double check and, and make sure um, those are set accordingly so you know you can adjust your base currency to canadian um, dollars and then your home country to canada and then lastly make sure that this is set to adjusted cost basis and if you're wondering how crypto is actually taxed in canada we have this fantastic crypto guide for 2022 um, specifically for canada it's a little bit long but it's 100 worth the read there's a lot of useful information that took a lot of time to assemble and if you read through it, you might be able to save thousands on your tax bill. We're also working on a video. So when that's done, I'll obviously leave the video down below. But for now, I'll leave the guide in the description. OK, so let's jump into the H&R Block section of this video, how to actually import all that information into H&R Block and file your taxes. So first things first, obviously create an account with H&R Block. I'm assuming most of you will have that. And then you're going to start with answering your personal information, which obviously I can't help you with that section of the video. So. Um, do that first and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, so once you've filled out your personal information, it'll ask you to choose a tax plan and you actually don't need to worry about um, you know, selecting any premier plan like some other um, third party tax softwares like TurboTax. For this one, you are okay just to select the free one. Um, so that's exactly the one I'm going to be using today. Okay, so obviously for this part, you know, your slips, your RSP, that stuff, you're gonna add, you're gonna add in yourself, your income, and you know, all that stuff is gonna be related to you and I can't really help you with that part. The first part that we're gonna be interested in in terms of crypto is going to be this part where it says claim your credits, deductions, and expenses. So we're gonna click on continue. And then we're gonna scroll down into our investments area. So property, shares, or other investments you bought or sold investment income, investment expenses, and rental property. H&R Block to me is a little bit outdated and um, there's not a lot of term terminology about crypto, but this is the correct area to go to. So click on add this topic and then click continue. So then you're gonna be asked for a bunch of different things that I personally, for this uh, sake of this video, I'm not interested in, but if you have any of these things, obviously you're gonna select them. So I'm gonna skip uh, this for me because I'm only interested in the crypto area. So we're gonna scroll down and here we're gonna find this a bot sold securities or other properties, capital gains or losses in 2021. So gains or losses from the disposition, sale, transfer, etc., of shares, bonds, or property not reported on a slip. 
So the next page is pension plans and investments. There's also a bunch of stuff here that we're not really interested in. Um, obviously for me, for you, it might be completely different, but I'm gonna click continue for now. And finally here, we get to the first section, which we're talking about, you know, capital gains and losses. So we're looking at this area right here. So capital gains on gifts, of certain capital property, so shares, bonds, mutual fund units, etc., you donate to a charity or organization. So we're gonna click on that, and then it's gonna finally bring us to this menu where we can start filling out our information. Now, just to remind you here, Canada taxes a few things that might not feel like a sale as a sale. So it's tricky to get your head around this at the start, but crypto is treated like a capital commodity in Canada and crypto follows capital gains rules. This means every time you make a disposition, um, that just basically means when crypto you own changes hands, you are up for capital gains tax. So some different ways that this can happen is, you know, you sell crypto for CAD, you swap crypto for another crypto, you spend uh, crypto to buy things, or you gift crypto. Now here you're gonna scroll down into your bonds and other capital property. So I'll show you how to fill this out accordingly. So what's the issuer's um, name? We're gonna put Coinly. And then for the second part, we can ignore it. Actually, these three parts we can ignore right now. And then what were the proceeds of disposition from the donation? So for here, we're gonna go into our um, Coinly document, head over to the first page, and this is the number we're looking for. So proceeds from sales, $24,383.84. So let's put that back into um, H&R Block. And then the next value that we're looking for, oh, it looks like I can't add a number, uh, dollar sign, so that's okay. So the next thing we're gonna have is the adjusted cost base. So going back into our Coinly report, this is the acquisition cost. So $16,953.56. So let's go back into HR Block and copy and paste that. And there you have it. That's literally all you have to put in. And it's simple as copy and pasting it from the Coinly um, full tax report. Okay, so you've added your capital gains. If you have any capital losses you would like to add, you would put this in this area as well. So, you know, you would just click on add another capital property and we'd follow a very similar format to before. We would type in Coinly, we would ignore the next three rows, and then we'd worry about um, our proceeds of disposition from the donation and our, you know, adjusted cost base. So for our losses, we would not be worrying about the proceeds of disposition um, from the donation. This would be left as blank. We would just want to fill in the adjusted cost base. So um, our losses would be here in on the second page um, under other gains. So these gains have not been included in your capital gains. So you, uh, you may want to report them separately. So our losses are $158.25. Uh, and 25 cents. So we're gonna put that in here. And one more thing we're gonna add if you have it, obviously, is another entry for the gains of $213.12. This is because in Canada, P&L gains slash losses are considered to be capital gains slash losses almost all the time. The only exception is when the taxpayer is deemed to be a trader, but there's an extremely high threshold to be considered one. And there you have it. We've added our capital gains and our capital losses. Okay, so once I put in my capital gains and losses, I filled out a bunch of other questions that were not related to crypto. So obviously, um, you do that according to your needs. Now we're talking about income. So, you know, I had a little bit of income from airdrops and other income. So where do we put that into our, you know, h &R block? So in the top uh, part of this um, document of this page, you're going to click on prepare and then you're going to click on other. Okay, in this area, we're looking for this specific um, checkbox. So other income earned or received in 2021. So once you select that and click continue, it'll take us to this page where you actually enter that information. So here, you don't actually have to worry about um, most of these um, options. You're only interested in this one. So it says, how much income did you earn or receive in 2021 that hasn't been entered anywhere else in your return? So that is where we put our income from our income summary from, from our report. So here is the value of $101.96. So we're gonna click that and click continue. Okay, so that's great. We've entered our capital gains and losses our income. Now we're, you know, going to worry about our expenses and where to put those. So for any related expenses, you know, margin trading, etc., you would go to the prepare tab and then you would go to other. And then lastly, you would go into miscellaneous. So that is at the very bottom here. And then we're looking for all other deductions. So union or professional dues, legal fees, amounts you repaid. Um, and this will obviously include also your crypto expenses. So here in the um, all other deductions area, we're also interested in only one of these sections. So that's actually the third row right here. So other deductions, income amounts repaid, legal fees, etc. So let's go into our Coinly 
um, full tax reports. So on page three here is our expenses. So we're looking at this value of $66 and um, six cents. So that's our margin uh, trade fee and our cost. So let's put that into H&R Block. And there you have it. You've entered now your capital gains and losses, your income and your expenses. And there you have it. You filled out your crypto taxes on H&R Block with the help of Coinly. I'm going to leave some resources now if you have any questions. So firstly, we have the Coinly Help Center where we have countless different fantastic articles about crypto taxes. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section where you can leave any issues you might be having with our software. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message directly and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.